Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about the speed, distance, and time. And ang focus natin today ay yung word problems. And by the way, shoutout nga pala sa lahat mga students who are needing with this kind of topic. Lalo-lalo na yung mga uh, adults na prepare for their licensure examination for teachers and also for the other examinations like civil service examinations. Go lang po, and I hope na matutunan nyo yung video natin. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So from our previous video na makikita nyo dito, we have calculated the distance, speed, and time, and we also derived the formula for distance, speed, and time using this triangle. You can visit this video, okay guys? And ilalagay ko rin sa ating description box yung mismong link ng video nyo. So ang target natin ngayon dito is to discuss two problems were in under siya ng it's either distance, speed, or time. Number one, a plane travel 395,000 meters in 90 seconds. What was its speed? Now, in this kind of problem, you can use your calculator if you have your calculator. Pero kung wala kang calculator, pwede kayo mag-manual manual cal computation. Now, given this problem, we are asked what is its speed? Speed yung yanap natin. Now, going back with our formula, speed is equal to distance over time. I think yung gamitin natin, speed is equal to distance over time. Now, balikan lang natin ha, if gusto mo matutunan kung paano magawa yung formula ng speed using this triangle, ang lagay mo lang naman is you will cover this one, or put S muna, then cover this one, and that is d, or distance, divided by time. Kaya natin yung formula natin. Now, let's continue. In this problem, obviously, this part, 395,000 meters, is your distance. At ito namang ating 9,000 seconds, this is your time. Now, given these values, we can easily or we can directly substitute these values, pero syempre, we will do it in a proper way. We will list down the values. Yung D natin is equal to 395,000 meters, while your time is equal to 9,000 seconds. So, we will do this. Substitute the value of your distance, that is speed is equal to 3,900 uh, 95,000 meters over your time which is 9,000 seconds so as you can see uh, kung magmanual mag mag uh, mag mag division kayo or dividing you can cancel out 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 and 0 para mas madali ok? so if you're using your calculator, you can directly divide 395 by 9. But in our case, pwede, natin, pwede din naman natin i-divide directly yung 3,900, uh, 3, uh, 395,000 meters by 9,000 meters. Kung meron kang calculator. So, okay. We will divide it. 395,000 divided by 9,000 seconds. So what we have here is 395 over 9 or kukunin natin siya, uh, ano siya eh, um, non-terminating decimal siya. So we can have this as your speed is equal to 43. On the round off natin, 0.9. Okay, you have here meter. Meter per second. Ito ngayon yung speed ng ating problem number one. Yung plane natin, it travels 395,000 meters in 9,000 seconds. And that speed is 43.9 meter per second. So in our next problem, we will continue doing this kind of thing wherein you will so solve either distance or time. Now let's continue our discussion with number two. In number two, in a competition, an athlete threw a flying disc 
139 meters through the air. When in flight, habang lumilipad daw yung mismong uh, disc natin, the disc traveled at an average of 13 meters per second. How long did the disc remain in the air? In this problem, uh, meron siguro yung competition ng disc, uh, disc throwing and an athlete, nung hinagis niya yung mismong disc, uh, for 139 meters, yung ating disc ay merong average na speed na 13 meters per second. Ang tanong dito, how long did the disc remain in the air? Meaning, look at the word eh, how long? How long? Meaning, what's missing here is the time. So therefore, we will use this formula, time is equal to distance over speed okay time is equal to distance over speed so for the distance in distance natin is already mentioned here which is 139 meters while your speed or s ito is 13 meters per second now substituting this value we can sub directly substitute this we have 139 meters okay or m over your speed which is 13 meters per second now in in this kind of um expression ang mangyayari dito guys since how long did the disc remain in the air we can easily eliminate the meters and another meter here so what remain here ay meron tayong 139 over 13 tapos yung magiging unit niya ay second so again you can use your calculator and I will use mine so we will divide 139 divided by 13 and that is 10.69 and continuous siya so if mag round off tayo in one decimal place kung meron kayong calculator dyan ang lobas ay 10.7 so, yung time natin is equal to 10.7 seconds. Ganun mismo yung tinagal ng mismong disc sa air. No, so, you know siya ng athlete for 139 meters with average speed of 13 meters per second. So, I hope guys na you learned something from this video on how to calculate for speed, distance, and time. Lalo na na mga problems natin kasi malaking bagay na alam niyo yung concept before solving for the problem. Katulad nung ginawa natin sa ating first video. So again, kung ikaw ay naganda para sa examination, adya, fighting, at labang lang. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye!